The Saudi Arabian government is spending a lot of resources, manpower, and time into diversifying away from oil into sectors like esports and gaming. And now that Gamers 8 and the Next World Forum, both of which collectively hosted esports teams from around the world with multi million prize pools on offer and industry experts in attendance, have concluded. On the sidelines, we had the chance to interact with the chairman of the Saudi Esports Federation, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar. Um, I have to admit, this is one of those moments where, you know, very happy, but also a little bit sad. It's the last day of our event, the last day of our season. You know, it's been a great event. It's been a great two months. Uh, we're riding a high, but, you know, it's now trying to figure out what do I do with my day tomorrow. <laughs> It's been eight weeks of a gaming festival along with esports tournaments along the way, uh, 12 tournaments in 10 different games. Uh, and it has been, I mean, it has been a lot of work, uh, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of competition. But at the end of the day, I think the chance to bring people together, the chance to have people visit here and see for themselves what's happening on the ground, chance to showcase our community and our young men and women and the talent that we have here. Uh, I think that is the core of everything that we do, and so it's uh, it's been a, it's been a good season. Talking about both the countries, Saudi Arabia and India, how do you see collaboration opportunities moving forward? Oh, there's so much room for collaboration. Uh, we've been talking with um, the Indian Federation and also the South Asian Federation right. because there is so much to do, and a lot of that growth, especially when you talk about federation level, has to happen at grassroots. And so to be able to talk to people uh, from different regions, get their point of views, get their insights, but also every region has something that they're strong at. So working with the Indian Federation and working with many other federations to do um, not just tournaments, but cultural missions where we can come home and away, bring our young Saudis there to see what's happening on the ground, see the community face to face, but also bring young men and women from there to here, see what's happening on the ground, meet face-to-face, -face, have competitions. I mean, one of the things that will forever stick in my mind when we first got into this, the Asian Games, um, the last Asian Games, was the first time they had uh, esports as a part of it. Sat down a number of federations together, and everyone was kind of a little, you know, nervous, not knowing what's going on. And some of the players started talking. And I, this is my gamer tag, and this is this. And suddenly it's like, oh, I remember you. You did this on that server, and you did this. Suddenly, all these people from thousands of miles away were friends. And that's something gaming can do that nothing else can do. And it's our job as a federation to start to facilitate that on a community level, at a grassroots level.